All right, guys, today we have a super interesting video. What we are doing is two things. We want to torture test an LPT at the request of one of our viewers on YouTube. And then also we want to answer, uh, I guess, play Mythbusters. We want to debunk a myth that we saw on a comment a guy left about LPTs like saying that once you load them heavy, you get up to the third stage and they don't, they don't dump or something like that. So today we're going to do two things. We're going to overload this LPT, we're gonna put several thousand extra pounds in it than should be, and we're gonna weigh it, and we're gonna show you it dumping it. So torture test and debunk a mint, let's go. Yeah. Dodge makes it and come and shakes it. guys so we're gonna hook up the old goat we're gonna hook it up to the LPT and then we're going to run it across the scales to give you an idea of what the trailer weighs by itself and what the truck and trailer weigh together then we're gonna go down to the dirt pit and we'll get her all loaded up good and heavy we'll come back and weigh it so that again you have the facts of what the you know the, what the weights compute to to know how much we have in the trailer overloaded then we'll go back and dump it that way you you can see uh what you know what the results are so here we go <laughs> I tell you these old trucks like i said they'll run forever it's amazing this old one's got 150,000 miles on it it sounds good it still runs good it ain't nothing like that old five nine shake that's before all the emission stuff you know all the extra garb that we got to put on these trucks these days but these old things i mean they're not rated near the horsepower as the old ones i mean as i'm sorry as the new ones uh, you know, they don't have those big horsepower claims, but they are just workhorses. I mean, they, they've got good power for what they are, much simpler. Don't have all the, the sensors and the regen and, the, you know, the def fluid and all that stuff. I mean, they're just hard to beat. Very hard to beat. to get the make sure the scale guy gets it zeroed so that obviously we start at par all right let's see what she weighs <laughs> Bouncing 15, 9, 10, 15, 9, 30, 40. So we're gonna call it 15, 9, 20. 15, remember that number. 15,920. So I'm gonna pull forward now. And we'll, we'll drop the jacks on the scale. Just get the back tires of the truck off. So we'll see how much the trailer weighs. 15, 9, 20. How much you guessing on the trailer? Take, take some bits, huh? Maybe. I'm gonna say 60, nah, I'll say 7,200. Say, let's see what it says. <laughs> Brian's gonna help us by unlatching it right quick. Fifty-eight, fifty-eight, thirty. Was that a fifteen nine twenty? Was a while ago. Fifteen nine twenty. All right. Uh, now we got seven. 
73 now and then. 7400 we'll call it. Alright, you can let it back down. Oh, it's right there. Alright, so we were 15920 with truck empty trailer and we were just a touch under 74. We're gonna call it 7400 on the trailer. And then you know, just for kicks, the trailer axles have like 5,800 on them empty. So now we're gonna head down to the dirt pit. I'm gonna grab a backhoe and we're gonna load it up. And then we will come back the same scale. Then we will reweigh just so we can see exactly how much we go over. that we're going to is actually behind Parker or what we call the Parker place but it's a, a new uh, development that I see is renovating and building some more uh, production space but the cool thing is it's great for testing ground you know be able to do stuff like this so, like a contractor's playground around here Sand up top. They say that around here, some of the best select field, some of the best dirt in East Texas is back here. It's interesting. A lot of people don't don't know that. I and mean, you think about that, and you're like, the best dirt. Come on now. But it's true because you got to have good dirt to build good foundation. You get over around Dallas and stuff. And they just got a whole lot of clay in there in their dirt and it don't make for good foundations you, know, you put junk under a house or under a shop and after not too long it starts coming apart your slab will start breaking it's really underestimated the, the value of the dirt that you put under it all right he agreed to, he agreed to load us up Load it heavy. Just saying. This could get a little wild, so just hold on to your britches. Woo. Camera fail. Now, the idea is so you got 20,000 GVW, that means 7,400. We got 13.6 worth of typical capacity but this time I think we're gonna we're gonna shoot for the 16 range it's kind of what we're after 16 17,000 in it so this is the LPT again 210 20,000 GVWR this one the extras it's got engineer beam neck swing down spare mount standard in that the uh, it's got the full width neck box so you got a little extra storage your pump and everything's mounted in here it's got hydraulic jacks three stage telescopic this one is 32 inch sides the board bracket so it's an engineered frame 210k axles this one's set up for bear it's a pretty stout stout trailer seven gauge body i didn't mention that seven gauge is huge it's thicker quite a bit thicker than standard 10 gauge heavy duty not as not as you know as important when you're talking about dirt like this but when you're talking concrete ex, uh, demolition, stuff like that, it definitely makes a big difference as seven gauge does. But dirt's not too hard on them, uh, nearly like a lot of that really heavy demolition stuff. Oh, this one's got the fork holders too. My shadow's in the way, you can see. You have fork, you know, stow your forks from a skid steer. Oh yeah, keep on keeping on. They barely got any in here now. It's over to that one side. So go. I love the mix match wheels. Oh, black wheels up front. Simulators on the back. That's like business in the front, party in the back. Sitting there rumbling. There we go. That's a good example of that board bracket. That's what that's for. He just, when he was rolling the bucket back, he hit that bracket. And so, like I, you've heard me probably before, I call it cheap insurance with that bracket. Since he bumped it with the bucket, no big deal, because he hit the wood. 
had he bumped it and hit the powder coat well one time it may not have hurt it depending on how hard he hit it but obviously it could deform the metal so that board bracket just kind of almost like gives you a little bit of margin or cushion so that i mean like i don't i don't even know this guy that's loading this trailer up but he loads it up and he's it's not his trailer so he's not paying super close attention and so that's what happens that's why i like those boards up there granted i am thankful that he is loading this up but you know how that is it's really probably pretty good uh but he's going for another one so i guess we'll let him see i mean it's pretty uh pretty loaded i feel like uh my goal is probably a little bit shy. oh there's there's paint in the bottom we got to cover that up oh yeah yeah so my goal of being a little bit over i think uh the 215s are squatting a little bit 16 ply all steel radios what's that hey i'm being instructed to stay out of the frame so we're gonna call it there call it good there we're pretty loaded so again this is for r d sake this is not to be done at home uh we are doing this just answer like i said we're doing it to torture test the lpt uh at the request of one of the the uh, youtubers and then also to debunk that myth of that third stage uh third stage stall if you will on the lpt so we're gonna run and weigh it we'll come back here and we will give you the update or we'll come back here and dump it but we'll get the weight update first so we know exactly what we're dealing with so let's go get that weight your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system <laughs> well we were trying to call one of our uh, operations leaders because I was a little skeptic of the scales. I'm pretty sure they're 80,000 pound truck scales, but I don't want to crater them. They're not exactly cheap. And so, uh, but we'll find out soon enough. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. When we debunk this myth, I'm gonna be so satisfied. This whole myth about it being, uh, not being able to dump the third on the third, uh, third stage whenever it's heavily loaded it's gonna be a beautiful thing so obviously guys this like i said we're pretty uh heavy overloaded and so you know i know there's gonna be some guys that, oh you shouldn't be on the road we, we're like a mile from diamond sea we're a, a mile and so we're gonna ease ease with our flashers on and take it easy but it's you know it's worth it to get this kind of content to get this kind of video put out just so you know because people read a lot of those content the comments and sometimes you know we're sitting there reading and we're like gosh where did that even come from that's not a that's not a real thing and so this and we like to do stuff like this so that you know folks can be educated when they go to buy one not that you're going to be overloading it like this but to know that you're not going to have to worry about you know it dumping whatever it is that's in it so that's the beauty of the lpt Thirty-eight five, call it thirty-eight five fifty. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, you saw the screen. We got a total of thirty-eight thousand five hundred fifty pounds. Uh, before, recall, we weighed the truck and trailer at fifteen thousand nine twenty, and that puts a total of twenty-two thousand six hundred thirty pounds in the bed of the dump trailer, which is about nine thousand pounds overloaded like i say i i knew as he kept scooping that it was going to be quite a bit heavier than what my intention was 
but um, here we are. So remember, don't do this at home. We're headed back now. Now for part two, dumping it out of here and uh, debunking, debunking the yeah, debunking the myth, debunking the mess, the myth, the everything. Seventy four hundred. So this this trailer's only supposed to have. 20,000 minus 7,400. Oh no, 12,6. So we're 10,000 pounds over. Uh, which, you know, the thing about it is we're not, we're not idiots, right? We know that, that there's a certain level or certain amount that people are going to overload these trailers. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. So we built some of that in now. Uh, 10,000 pounds over, that's a long ways up there. That's, that's a lot. And so, uh, just hoping this one it doesn't tweak an axle or something, which because that's a, a real possibility, it tweaks a torsion arm or a spindle or something at this kind of weight. But we've seen them tortured wires. But there's no doubt about that. And you know, we have seen some crazy stuff over the years. We had a guy one time brought a trailer up had 10,000 pound. It was a tandem dual dump trailer. And uh, he just couldn't, uh, he, he was trying to get warranty out of it is what he was. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't warranty, but he had, he ends up telling us, yeah, I had it filled almost to the top with dirt. And it's like, do you understand? That is like 60,000 pounds of dirt. And he was like, oh, well, yeah, it was worth a try. So we ended up putting a new set of axles under it. He charged him cost for it, but we were just so impressed that the rest of the trailer stayed together that it wasn't a, it wasn't a big deal to, to hook him up with some axles at cost. So. That hill? Yeah. Go down, go straight down. Like if you, you would turn left by Brad's? Yeah. Yep. Go up, you'll go up that hill, yeah. and then go straight down. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ain't doing it right down there. Be down on the left. Okay. Right. Yeah. ain't missing. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, if you didn't catch all that, the nice gentleman, we named was Earl, <laughs> that uh, was loading us up, we got caught. When we got back, he was there again. And apparently he's taking loads of dirt in that dump truck over to a um, house. And so it's just down just down the road in one of the neighborhoods. So he said, hey, instead of dumping it right back here, he said, well, you run it over there and dump it at that house for me. And so anyways, for him helping us, you know, I had a hard time telling him no. So we are headed over to this house. No idea, it was always, this kind of stuff always you end up getting into something else. There ain't no telling what this is about to turn into, but we're gonna run a dump it at this house. That way, we can be good, good Samaritans. So, be a, a word to the wise, you know, as we're headed over here to dump this. If you buy a dump trailer, depending on what size axles it has, a good rule of thumb is to kind of go play at the dirt yard and or the gravel pit, have them load a little bit, find out kind of where you know that is. Say they put three scoops in it and it's five thousand pounds cool thing is you could kind of get a reference point maybe you make a mark you kind of understand about where that is and then so the next time you go back you know, and dirt's different because it depends on how much moisture is in it but the next time you go back you know if they get to this mark then it's this much weight if they get to this mark it's this much weight it's kind of you gain that reference like right while ago I had no idea and when obviously we got way overloaded but uh, yeah it's kind of as you use the dump trailers like any other tool you'll learn a better better ways to do it so we can go <laughs> well i hope that's it because uh they've had to get some more dirt We are here at the job site. <laughs> Not ours technically, but anyways. So, now for the fun. Right. You're gonna be better served. We'll grab the remote. So we're already the hardest part with a scissor the hardest part is just getting it moving so we've already accomplished that with a telescopic it's just going but let's see we keep going i right know everything seems to be just fine just keeping on trucking so here is this 
second you'll hear a different pitch change and it's gonna grab second gear for the second stage I'm telling you right now there it goes the second stage right there I'm telling you right now scissor would be game over it would have never even started it would have just been like raw and been done to do a job I mean we're going to 45 debunked it is a beautiful thing so beautiful all right look at that we're at 45 completely debunked so you got it it's up there I mean, and that's what you say, 20, 22,000. So the third stage, I don't know, I keep saying it. I just, and I don't mean to be braggy, but third stage went up, no problem, We're heavy loaded. What do you, what can you say? All right, pull forward. Is it all? Oh yeah, it's all out. Doesn't look like 22,000. Dirt is so deceiving. Let's see. I come back over here, we'll let her down, and we will be done. We'll hit our closing, and you don't have to look at me anymore. Ha. So quiet now. There's, now we're down to the second stage. So the thing about tellies, telescopics, they do, the cycle time's a little bit slower when you're coming down, especially that, that last stage gets to be a little slow, especially when it's cold. But to me, the beauty lies within the power of not having to worry about is it gonna dump or not. I mean, if I can haul and know, have the security that it's just gonna go, hey, that's all, it's all, all better compared to the unknown. Scissors are great. I mean, we've built them for a lot of years and for the most people, they work great. But for me, when the money is not a lot different, telescopic is the way to go, no doubt. And just like that, it's down. Just in the time I've talked to you, 16, this is the tallest telescopic that we offer on a 16 foot. So just in the time that we you know, were talking just then, it's already back down. You can be on your way, no problem. 